want to show you the measurements of a typical baby monitor. We're going to measure the receiver and the transmitter. But first, I wanted to show you a measurement in a very EMF free zone. This is my home. There's no Wi-Fi on. Uh, there are no cell phones that are currently enabled, no computers on. And you can see this measurement in microwatts per meter squared. Absolutely nothing is happening right now. This over here is volts per meter and that's measuring the strength of a signal. But this is what we're watching over here. And most EMF experts that I deal with say, try to keep it below 1000. So now let's go check out other things. Now this is pretty, this is one of those wireless baby monitors and I understand why parents use them, but people have asked me to measure the radiation. So I get pretty close here. We're measuring 5,000. Now this is the receiver and I think it's gonna be real. This is what the parents keep in their room, of course. That's what they're looking at, the baby. And you can see it very slightly as things are happening over in the other area and signal is being generated. And now we're gonna go look at the transmitter and that's the part that stays next to the baby's room and compare that measurement. Oh my gosh, isn't it obnoxious? Yes, this meter also lets you hear the radiation, which is really scary. But let's see if we can back away and we'll turn this down and see if we're about six feet away and we're still getting exposure levels that most EMF experts would say are too much for an adult, let alone a baby. So I'm recommending a wired uh, baby monitor option. Got some great ideas on the site. Please check them out and please let any parent you know that has a baby watch this video so they will know too that they don't want their child to be exposed to RF radiation like this and be well.